Hey, what's up everybody? I wanted to show a really cool t-shirt choke. So we're gonna prove that gi is more street than no gi. Prove me wrong. Actually, I'm totally stealing this move from Henry Gracie, that's where I saw this. So he has a really good tutorial on it as well. But anyways, I got James here, he's gonna help me. When we're training this, um, I would really recommend using some type of uh, undergarment and then some old raggedy t-shirts that you don't care about because you're probably gonna be popping some threads you know, cause you're gonna like it so much, you're gonna get excited. So anyway, that would be a, like the best attire. So if you remember from yesterday's lesson, we were in clothes guard and we're talking about the value of using this closed position to avoid striking, okay? So in a self-defense situation, this is probably your safest position to be in if you are on the bottom position of the person because of your ability to control the space, block punches and all that good stuff, okay? But who wants to just, block punches all day. You want to finish the fight, right? So this t-shirt here is going to become a very valuable tool for me. All right. So this particular variation, what I'm going to do. So the t-shirt is different than the gi because of how thin it is, right? So if I just started to yank on this collar right here, most likely it's just going to tear to shreds before I'm able to actually strangle the person with it. So I need to kind of reinforce it. So what we'll start doing is from my position, I'm just going to start wadding this t-shirt up and pulling it up. Okay, so that I can collect the whole shirt right here. So I have now a nice grip, okay? So here's what's real sneaky, okay? So this hand's gonna maintain this grip the whole time. My right hand, in this case, is maintaining the grip. It's gonna just lift up a little bit. Notice all that slack that it has. This free hand is gonna come underneath the bottom side, and now my whole forearm is kind of inside that collar, all right? So imagine like the mindset here, he's struggling to try to create space and hit me and I'm holding on. So what I'm gonna do from here is I'm gonna let him go. He pops his head up, whoop, right there he's up. He's gonna get caught in the Ezekiel choke, right? So real slow, what's happening here is I've hidden my hand here. He can't really tell what I'm doing either. It doesn't feel threatened. If I come in the front of his collar, now he knows like his neck is being attacked. It's gonna be a little bit harder to finish. You could still use that, but this is a lot sneakier, okay? So once that head comes up, I'm just knifing my hand and I'm going across. I want to go for the side of his neck. You see how it makes like a triangle shape? I'm trying not to choke you too, Matt. Can you see that angle choke, Matt? See that triangle shape in his neck? So I'm not stopping here in the front of his throat and crushing his windpipe. I'm overshooting and then sliding my hand up. And then this hand makes the pressure. And you have a very nice blood choke there. Okay? So thank you, Mr. James. Appreciate it. No problem.